Weather alert, Bob, as we head into late tomorrow night, mainly after 11 p.m. through about 5, 6 in the morning. We've got a level 3 out of 5 for areas west of I-65. That's an enhanced risk, but notice that's a moderate risk. A level 4 out of 5 does clip Henry County, and then everybody else under a level 2 out of 5 to the east. And then as we head into Saturday around mid-morning into the afternoon and right through the night, we have a level 3 out of 5 over our entire viewing area, but there is a moderate risk not that far away from our southernmost counties. I wouldn't be surprised if this slips over our area as we head into the day tomorrow because the parameters look really good. We have all severe weather ingredients necessary to get storms going and all modes of severe weather are going to be likely folks. So heavy rain, gusty winds inside and outside the storms, large hail, golf ball size in nature are bigger and then tornadoes, which a few could be on the stronger side, meaning EF2 or greater from both rounds coming on in. So you want to make sure you have your safety plan ready to go and be ready to go quickly because these storms could be racing at 60 to 70 miles an hour. That's not a lot of lead time to get to your safe spot. You need your phone fully charged and in the on position, especially for the first round coming in overnight, Friday night into Saturday morning. And make sure you have the W Karen weather app. If you don't have it yet, download it now. It is free in the app store and really could save your life. This low pressure center is going to be the culprit for bringing in the severe weather right now. A trough is over us. There's a complex of storms, but they're pushing to the south and east of our viewing area and things are quieting on down on Storm Tracker Radar Network. Now, we did have some storms earlier today produce some hail. So we got some hail pictures in from Pegram. And then we also had, this is from Treva, by the way, and then we also had a double rainbow that took place over Sparta. Thanks, Dina, for sending this in. You can send your weather pics to pics at WKRN.com. Don't forget about the total lunar eclipse happening overnight. Send us your pictures. It's going to be mild overnight, too. Temperatures are in the 60s. And as we head into the day tomorrow, we're going to be close to record highs. We're forecasting 82. Dry all day, so that's a setup as these storms will be rolling in. Now, the winds get very brisk, so much so that we have a wind advisory in place for southern Kentucky beginning Friday afternoon, going through Saturday evening. And then the timeline for the first round of storms. Notice west. 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. around the I-65 corridor, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Clarksville, Nashville, Murfreesboro, you're included in this to Gallatin, and then 4 to about 6 for areas to the east. And then let's talk about what happens after this. About 8, 9 o'clock, storms start to pop. They lift from the south to the north, and then we're going to see them become very numerous by about lunchtime. And notice how they're getting more widespread in aerial coverage, and they're getting stronger. Any of these could be spinning. Any of these could be reducing winds, hail, and heavy rain. As we get to 3 o'clock, and then look, a line develops, and along this line, there could be some spin, too, about dinner time, and that pushes east by about 9, but more storms continue through about midnight before they push on out of here and then quieter conditions for your Sunday. So make sure you have a way to get the warnings. We are weather alert for Friday night into Saturday morning and then all day Saturday and Saturday night. A little cooler on Sunday, then mostly sunny and tranquil. Monday and Tuesday, we'll enjoy that.